What is up, everybody? Oh, right here, and we are back with Death Must Die. We haven't played this game in quite a while because one, there hasn't really been a lot of content. Not since, um, not since December when they did their um, Christmas patch. Uh, but Act Two is coming out in just a couple days. A few days, this game is going to get a huge update. They're going to add Act Two, a bunch of new enemies, a couple new, one or two new characters. They're going to have a bunch of new attack animations, a bunch of new items. So there's a ton of stuff coming soon. And so I kind of wanted to jump back into this game, kind of familiar, familiarize myself with it again, because I have not played this since <laughs> since I did a last video for it sometime in December. Um, we're going to run as who do we even want to run as? Let's run as Scotty. Uh, and let's do should we do scotty and the white raven that's i know that's a super strong build so maybe we'll go with that one uh i definitely need to to ease myself back into this game uh i think we'll still do darkness 30 though uh yeah okay so everything's max so let's keep that at darkness 30. let's see what my inventory my in my items are like i don't even i'll be honest i have no idea what i have here I honestly have no idea. Okay, we have a revive. We have our extra dash. That's all I really know about being super important. Um, this one, the belt doesn't seem that great. 42 life. Six armor. Okay, I have to... I literally have to remember the, the controls. Um, so this is... Okay, we're going to switch this out. I see what I was trying to do here. I was probably trying to do... Uh, like a first strike build with this um with these guys. I think that's probably what I was trying to do here. This one's pretty good too. But I think I need the alteration dice. Okay. Um my stash, I don't even know what my stash looks like right now. Luck, okay. Let's just jump into the game. <laughs> it's been so long, guys. It's been so long since I played this. I'm gonna have to remember what the controls are. Oh my gosh, I have a dragon. I have a dragon. Where, where's my dragon at? Um, hold on. What gives me a dragon? Oh, my weapon, an onyx dragon. I didn't even know I had a dragon. Okay. I think we're gonna be, uh, man, I see I'm even hitting the wrong buttons here. Allow me to interfere. Uh, okay, lightning, I don't think so. Let's alter. I think I just want to go with like the strong build here. Um, this guy right here. So let's do warped strike. So we'll do time, death, and maybe justice. I can't wait. I'm really excited for this update, though. This was this was definitely one of the better roguelikes of 20 what 2023. Time is all about the rules. Okay, I don't want fire. If we get stuck with someone, we get stuck with someone. But okay, then we'll take her. We'll do inner peace. Okay, then hopefully we get death. Um, since I have, if we don't get death, then I'll probably focus mostly on a time build then. Doing, um, I don't even know what they're called anymore. Um, Warp Strike and Gem High. What's the troll do again? We're in his ways, yeah. We'll take the 30 armor. I remember that one. Which way? Okay, let's do, what are you going to give me? kind of want to re-roll these attack area is not horrible but I think I'd rather have like attack speed all right we'll just do I guess we can do the crit chance feels so weird playing this after playing a bunch of other games coming back to this trying to remember what everything does okay we definitely don't want winter if we get a d okay so we're gonna get this um let's do i'm gonna banish time field 
We'll take warp strike again. I remember this guy. Let's see if we could even catch up to him. Oh, I, I remember. I remember this is just one of the best builds. Uh, the White Raven is insanely strong, especially for killing bosses. <laughs> so that's kind of why. I, that's kind of why we're going with this. We're still running Darkness Thirty, but this is definitely the the strongest build in the game. At least one of them. Uh, Jim High Maris is incredibly good too. Okay. Um, fate again. Okay, let's do life increase. I'm playing. I'm playing it safe this run, guys. Hmm. Oh, perfect, Mort. All right, let's do. Let's re-roll these though. I don't know what sort of. Um... We could do execution. Um, I don't know what sort of item generating I have on here. It's not very good. I definitely, I have high legend, but I don't have high master. So that needs to be adjusted a little bit. Uh, let me adjust the sound just like a tiny bit here. Just a tiny bit. Okay, let's do attack speed, I think. Um, projectiles, what are we gonna get? Um, no, let's do projectiles. I, I really can't wait. I've been oh, I've been wanting this game to just drop content more often. And we had I've had multiple discussions about this, but we'll do it again because I actually haven't done it in a while. What do we think about what do we think about devs waiting so long to release content versus like so here's the model right here. You do you release everything at once in Act 2. You know they've had some stuff ready. Like, you know they probably have the character ready. They have some bosses ready. Um, things like that. Would you rather they just wait and do a big whole Act 2 update? Or would you rather have them release things like every couple weeks they put in something small? Like, okay, here's 10 new items we have. We put this in the game. Oh, here's a new enemy type. We're gonna put this in the game now. Here's a new god. Let's put this in the game now. So they could do all of this like week to week. Or they could wait again. It's been four months. <laughs> four months. This is an early access title. So I feel like waiting four months to get out new content, I feel like that kind of has killed some of the momentum of this game. Um, this game was, this game was one of the hot, easily one of the hottest games of, one of the hottest roguelikes of uh, 2023, especially toward the end of the year. And then it just kind of feels like it fell off. So I'm always curious what people think. Um, would you rather them have them drop content? right away when it's ready or just do one big update I, I i see the argument for both my opinion though if it's an early act especially this this really only applies to early access games um if it's an early access game i think you i think you release content when it's ready i don't think you do these big updates um, I think a whole Act 2 update is great, that's cool, um, but I think if they had gods ready or weapons ready or things like that, they should put it in there. Because that stuff like that's going to keep people playing your game, especially content creators. Uh, we're going to do Soul Stealers. And I think that's a big deal, especially, especially as coming from the content creation side of it. Uh, if this game constantly was releasing new things, I would constantly be doing videos, right? That <laughs> That's how this goes. If I was doing... 
If I was, if they were constantly putting stuff out, I would constantly do new videos. This game would have never dropped out of the rotation if every two or three weeks they were putting something new into the game, even if it's something as simple as one weapon. If they just put one new weapon in here or some new mechanic or something, I would do a, quite a few videos on it. But since they haven't, um, a lot of us content creators felt like we covered as much as we could. We did pretty much exhausted this game out in terms of how many builds and stuff we could do. And we all dropped it. We have yes, none of us have really side. played this game in in months. So I don't know. It, it's it's a it's a tough decision. If we look at a game like Greedland, Greedland, if you haven't played that, check that one out. That's a pretty good survival roguelike game. That game releases content when it's ready. If he has one weapon, he puts it out. If he has one new power armor, he puts it out. It's not all in one big update. And so I think stuff like that is really important. Because again, as a content creator, I jump in. Every time I see him put a new item or armor into the game, I'll bust out two videos and who knows? I don't know how many people are buying the game because of watching my videos, but if it's enough, <laughs> then you know, it's probably worth it. Because my Greenland videos probably get like a couple thousand views. So they do like, I assume they do relatively decent. Okay, let's do Mayhem. Yeah, let, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Because this is a really this is a really good time to bring up a conversation like that. Because again, this game has not had new content since early December when they did their Christmas update. That was the last update for this game. Four months. So that means people haven't probably haven't been playing this game for four months. That's a long time to not play to not play one of your games. Luckily, yeah, luckily I have this three <laughs> the three dashes. I'm definitely slow on the reaction though, I'm not. Not as quick to dodge these as I normally was. Okay, let's do... Let's do the summoner because... I'm pretty sure my... My uh, soul stealers count as summons. They must. Oh, and my... My... My guys too, they count as summons also. Um, okay, we yeah, we need force. How do we not have force yet? Okay, let's do wisdom again. Okay, we can do protection up to expert. I don't think they've said anything about new gods coming out. I haven't. Yeah, go get them. Go get them, Raven. Man, this cheeky little bastard. Um, I know there's going to be a new hero, though. Um, if you haven't, go on the go on their page, go on their Steam page, and they have they've been putting out these dev blog updates every week. Which is actually cool. I mean, at least they're at least they're doing that. They've been doing that for like the last month. Every week they put out an update on changes they're doing with the game. So they're going to be changing up dark the darkness a little bit. They're going to basically add up to darkness 100 in the game, I believe. Uh, they're going to give you more chances for for modifiers. 
Um, so I think there's gonna be, so right now you're stuck. If you wanna do darkness 30, there's only one way to do it. So I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna add more ways to get to darkness 30. So, but don't worry because you know how the higher the higher darkness you get, the better rarity items you get dropped. Uh, they're gonna cap it at darkness 30. So even if you do darkness 100, you're still gonna get the same um, item drops. It's all gonna be the same, none of that's gonna change. They're just gonna add it though, so people can, um, if they want more of a challenge, you know? And I think that's, I think that's a really, really fair way to do that. Cause I know people aren't gonna wanna play darkness 100 to get all the best gear. So they're, they're good at that. Let's do serendipity. And then I know there's a new character, an archer coming out. Um, they pretty much added brand new attack animations for all the characters. I'm not sure exactly how that works in terms of damage though. Like, cause sometimes like Scotty will do attack, attack, jump attack. So it changes their movement too. Um, it's not, I'm not just sitting here attacking. I think they, I think there's some movement involved too, maybe with their attacks. I'm not sure if that's going to adjust the damage. So like if the third strike does more damage, I don't know. Uh, there's still a lot we don't know about that yet. And then obviously a whole new act, a uh, whole new act is going to be huge. New map. Probably all new enemies, I would assume. Uh, all new bosses. So we're going to probably get probably the same idea. Probably get two mini bosses, one main boss at the end. And yeah, it'll be sweet. It'll be, it's going to be huge. It's going to be really, it's going to be a really, really huge update. So I think if you want to get back into the game now is definitely the time. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's been so long since I played this game. I was like, all right, I got to jump back in and kind of refresh my memory about how to play this game, what items I have on my characters. Because they're adding, oh yeah, they're adding, um, so every weapon right now is a tier one. They're going to be adding tier two weapons into the game. Again, I'm not exactly sure what that entails in terms of how much better they're going to be than tier one weapons. Like, is the worst tier two item going to automatically be better than any tier one weapon? I don't know. I don't know if tier two is going to have more modifiers on it, higher how higher. Uh, range values for like damage and whatever else you can whatever other stats you can roll on it we'll know soon enough though april 20th that's when that's when the update comes out it's a saturday so they probably that's a cool time to do it because a lot of us are going to be home a lot of us will have the weekend off let's do lifelink we don't have a dash It is not for death. We definitely need more force. We haven't. I need to. What I need to do is re-roll more. I've been. I've been so focused on talking, talking to you guys about about the updates and what this game is going to do in. What they're gonna do in the future and things like that. Um, let's see. Let's yeah, let's re-roll these. I wanna get I'm just gonna I don't man, I don't know. I don't think banishing deadlock's the right move, but we're gonna do that. Just because I want okay. Well I have to take expert gym high. Force was right there for us too. Force was right there for the taking. <laughs> this is why I did this build. It's so freaking good. It's so freaking good. All right, let's do force. This build's way too strong. Like, look at that. Look at the Raven. One shots everything. 
Not quite one shot, two shots. Just insane damage. Let's pay attention. Okay, we can do inner peace. We're gonna go. We're gonna go with the survivability. I don't think we need it, but I haven't played this game in four months, uh, so I want to be as safe as I can against uh, against Dracula when we get to him. Do soul stealers. Now let's do sanity. Okay, now let's reroll these. Well, let's banish um banish necromancy. We're not gonna do that. So we roll soul stealers. <laughs> I think the most exciting part about this new update, though, is going to be the new, um... Um, let's see. Your attacks, recharge, let's do critical chance. It's going to be the new items. Um... This game has pretty good items. Uh, it kind of has Diablo-type items where you can get these cool modifiers. Those are the things I am most excited about when I, especially when I play a loop game. I want these really cool things that you can spec like do builds around, like an Onyx Dragon, um, you know, some sort of special spell that you can only get from items, things like that. Like that's what that's what I love to see, and I can't wait to see if they add any crazy stuff to this game with uh, with the tier two up with the tier two items. I really hope they do. We're gonna have a ton of armor. Oh no, okay. Now we're, we're starting to get in dicey territory now. These guys, I forgot about these guys. Yes. Okay, um, let's see. Warp Strike, Alteration Ritual. Let's do Alteration Ritual. Alteration Ritual feels like cheating sometimes, especially if you pair it with Deadlock. <laughs> you can just get, you can just do, you can basically get every spell in the game and just destroy everything. It's so ridiculous. Okay, let's do more. Let's do more Force again. Um, I do have one revive in case I need it. Uh, let's do Soul Stealers. Let's get that to level five. I think we're okay though. I, I definitely feel rusty. I, I can tell I feel super rusty playing this. 
Yeah, let's do protection again. Sure. Huge, huge armor numbers right here. I'm glad we got Lady Justice because I knew I was going to get hit. <laughs> um, there was no way. I, I've i never, I don't think I've ever done the no hit run, but I know I've come close on Darkness 30. Um... I think I did a run where I only got hit once. Okay, let's do alteration ritual now. Though I, I swear I used to be good at this game. So at 20 minutes, we're going to get Dracula. See, I barely even remember this, because uh, the spawn rates are, the spawn timers are always the exact same. I barely remember them. Um, I know soon that the skeletons are going to come. Um, let's do Serendipity again. So I think the skeletons come at 19 minutes, and then Dracula at 20, and then we're done. Three dashes is probably the most OP thing to have in this game. Okay, let's go see if we can find some sort of shrines before all this happens. Alright, let's go. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get Jim High going a lot here soon. Let's do critical chance. All right, well, that was easy peasy. All right, we have a heart there, so let's save that for when Dracula comes. Um, if we can spawn right on Dracula, um, my raven's pretty much going to destroy him. Okay, where are you? Yikes, yikes. See, look at, look at the raven go. Look at the raven go. <laughs> look at this. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's, it's just as stupid as I remember it being. <laughs> um, all right, how do we drop items? Why? <laughs> it's just as stupid as that. <laughs> That's exactly why I did this build. That's exactly why I did this build. The raven is so ridiculous. Come on. It's so broken. It's so broken. All right, GG's, we did it. First time back. But I felt like I cheated a little bit. We did, I did the ultimate trio. I used probably a cheat item with the White Raven, but who cares? My first time playing this in however long, four months. So it is what it is. So again, the update comes out April 20th, which is gonna be a couple days from this video. Uh, if you haven't checked out this game already, go check it out. I know a lot of new people have come into this channel from Deep Rock Galactic Survivors but I did play this game a ton. I probably have, I don't know, like 50 something videos maybe for this game. So if you wanna get caught up, you can go, I probably have a playlist for this, so feel free to check that out if you wanna catch up on some of the content for this game. Really good game though. This is a really, really, really good game. Highly recommend it. Big update coming out April 20th. All right, everybody, that's gonna be it for us. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.